Hey, this is Carl J. De La Cruz, first year UC student. So I'll be performing skin assessment for this video. So the first thing that we need to do is to review the client's medical records. And this will allow me to get basic information about the patient and the scope of assessment needed so that I can prepare the necessary equipment prior to meeting the client. So the skin is actually the largest organ in our body and it belongs to the system called integumentary system. So integumentary means outer cover of our body which serves to protect us from hazardous substances. So some certain diseases or illnesses often manifest themselves through our skin. That is why we need to take care of our skin and perform skin assessment. So the next thing we need to do is to prepare the necessary equipment for this assessment. So let's go. So now that we're done reviewing the client's medical records, let us prepare the necessary equipment for the skin assessment. So the first thing that we have here is my notebook and my pen so that I have something to write on my subjective and objective data. Next thing is my pen light for lighting so that I can clearly see the skin characteristics of our patient later for our skin assessment. Next thing is our non-sterile gloves. Since I will be touching the patient, I need this to avoid cross-contamination. And lastly, our alcohol for hand hygiene. Now that we're done preparing the equipment needed for the skin assessment, let us now start and greet the patient. So hi, how are you today? <laughs> so are you comfortable? Is the lighting good? Yes. Alright, so my name is Carl J. Dada Cruz and I am your student nurse for today. I'll just perform hand hygiene while I greet you, okay? So may I confirm you are Mrs. Cindy Dada Cruz, right? Yes. Great, so how do you want me to call you? Alright, Miss Cindy, for, just for verification, may I ask for your birthday? December 9, 1993. December 9, 1993. So, how about your age? 28. So, you're 28 years old. So, Miss Cindy, for today, I'll be assessing your hair, skin, and nails. And for me to be able to assess those parts, I'd like to ask for your consent to touch certain parts of your body. Is that okay for you? Alright, so rest assured, all this data will be confidential between me and the attending physician that I will be referring to. Okay, so before we start the assessment, I will be asking you some questions about your current condition of your skin, okay? So is there any clarification or questions that you want to ask me? Alright, so have you noticed any reddened area on your skin, lately? Yes, I noticed that it's somewhere. So you have your rashes, so is it itchy or does it stink? It's itchy. So it's itchy. Can you show me where it is located? Alright, on both of your left and right arm, right? So what do you think triggered the rashes? I was using this perfume and it made me itch. So you were using this perfume and then it made you itch. So how intense is the itchiness? Can you rate it from 0 to 10, that being the worst itch possible? It's 6. Alright, it's 6. So do you take any over-the-counter medications or ointments for the skin rashes? No. So you're not using anything. So how about any unusual darkening or lightening on your skin? Do you have any tattoos? So have you had any change in the condition or appearance of your nails? No. How about hair loss? Alright. The next questions will be about your past health history. So do you have any previous problem with your skin, hair, or nails? No. So how about allergic reactions? Do you have any allergies? No. In food, drinks, or medicines? Alright, so for your family history, did anyone from your family experience any skin problems or skin cancer? No. Alright, so for your current lifestyle, how long do you usually expose yourself from the sun? Usually how many hours? Usually 2 to 3 hours. Okay, that's 2 to 3 hours exposure. So how about the exposure to chemicals? Do you use any lotion or any skin products? Lotion. Lotion, is it for moisturizing or hydrating or skin whitening? Skin whitening. Okay, so you use lotion for skin whitening. Do you have a daily routine for your skin, hair, and nail care? Yes. Yeah, so can you tell me about it? Usually I take a bath. So you usually just take a bath for your hair. So what do you usually eat on a daily basis? On breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snacks? Rice, usually rice. Okay, so you usually eat rice on those. So is there anything at home that stresses you? No. Right, so how do you usually manage your stress if there's any? Usually I eat Watch K-Dramas. Okay, so you watch K-Dramas to relieve your stress. 
Okay. All right, Ms. Cindy, that's it for our dessert taking. So I asked for your consent earlier to touch certain parts of your body for the skin assessment. So this time, before we start the skin assessment, I'd like you to wear this gown and remove all your jewelry that includes your watches, your necklace, your earrings, and your rings, all right? So I'll meet you after. All right, so while patient is changing, I will provide privacy for her by closing the curtains. And now I will perform hand hygiene and then wear my gloves. So I can see that you have changed into your gown. Thank you. So are you ready? So in hospital settings, the patient don't usually wear clothes underneath their gown, but since this is just a demonstration, I will just let her wear something inside. So generally, I see that your skin color is consistent, and I don't see any hyperpigmentation or unusual discoloration on your skin. So I am also not noticing any unusual odor emanating from you. So this time, may I see your scalp and hair for any scars and lesions? Yes. Alright, so... So basically, I am just palpating and inspecting her hair for any scars or lesions that is present by one inch in her bud. So I want, what I wanted to look for is for even distribution of hair, thickness, and moisture, texture, bugs and lice and dandruffs. Alright, once I'm done with the hair assessment, I'll remove my gloves and properly dispose them. I need to perform hand hygiene. So I don't see any scar on your scalp and there are also no lice and dandruff. So hair is thick and moisture is good. Also the texture is good. And I see that your hair is evenly distributed on your hairline, eyebrows, and eyelashes. So I can see that you take good care of your hair and I can see that you have a good hair and scalp hygiene. Move on to the skin part of the assessment. So first things first, I'll check for your skin color and integrity. This is important for additional diagnostic signs. So I can see that you have even pigmentation on your skin and you don't have any darker or lighter areas. Also, there are also no yellow skin color for jaundice that could indicate liver problems, gallbladder, and pancreas problem. However, I see that you have reddened areas on your skin on your left and right forearms due to the rashes that you were complaining earlier. So this time, I will be palpating the skin of our patient. So I'll use this dorsal surface of my hand because some nurses believe that it is more accurate to measure for temperature, moisture, and texture with the dorsal surface of your hand. So may I touch your skin? Okay, so I'll check for moisture. Right? Moisture is good and skin is warm to touch. Texture is smooth. And skin is not too dry and not too oily. So may I have your forearms? Right? So, skin moisture is good, it's not too oily and not too dry. Temperature is normal. So, normal temperature is usually around 36 degrees Celsius, and anything below or over that is considered as hypothermia or hyperthermia. So, inflammation in tissues of the skin could cause changes in skin temperature. That is why we need to assess for the temperature of her skin. And also, I have to take note of dry skin areas, which could indicate dehydration or excessive use of soap. Right, so this time I'll check for the texture of her skin. Skin texture on arms and forearms is smooth. But her wrist is a bit rougher than the arms and the sides of her palms as well. So this is usually because of her calluses that is exposed to constant pressure. Okay, this time I'll check for your skin mobility and turgor. So I'll just lightly pinch the dorsal surface of your head. Alright? Okay, I see that your skin pinches easily, which is an indication that you have normal skin mobility. And also, turgor is elastic since it went back to its place right away. This is an indication that you are well hydrated. 
So earlier, I inspected four rashes on her right and left forearm. Now this time, I wear gloves to apply pressure on those area and assess for blanching. Just perform hand hygiene. And wear gloves. Alright, this time I'll assess for the rashes that we looked into earlier. May I have your forearm? Alright, so with our fingers, I'll just apply pressure on the, the area with rashes and check for blanching. Blanching is the whitening of the skin with applied pressure. We have your other forearm. So usually for rashes, we apply pressure on the area to assess for blanching or whitening of the skin with pressure. This is because blood leaves that area with pressure. And we are wearing gloves to avoid risk for infections. Now that I'm done, I'll just dispose of my gloves. So this time, I'll check for your nails. May I have your hand? Alright, I see that they are clean and well manicured. It is pink tone and I'm also not seeing any fungal problems. Alright, so... Nails are hard and immobile and also it is firmly attached to the nail bed. They are not moving at all. So this time I'll check for the shape of your nails. Can you do this for me and for a diamond? Can you lift your hand? Alright, for the shape of your nails, I see that it is less than 180 degree angle between your nail base and your skin. So therefore there are no clothing. So this time, I'll check for capillary refill on your nails. Alright, so cap refill is less than 2 seconds. So the capillary refill is usually indicated by the immediate return of the pink tone on your nails. And it is normal within less than 2 seconds. Okay, for the last part, I will be palpating for edema. I'll use my thumb to apply pressure on her feet. So what we want to see for a normal finding here is that the skin should rebound and there should be no indentation left on her feet. Alright, so in this case, no indentations are found, therefore no signs of edema. So after touching the patient's foot, I need to perform hand hygiene. Alright, Miss Cindy, so now that we are done with the assessment, I'll sum up everything that I noted, okay? So, your skin is consistent with even pigmentation. No lighter or darker areas, no yellow pigmentation on the skin. Red and itchy area is found on both left and right arm. Skin moisture is normal. Skin is warm to touch. Skin texture is smooth in most areas and only feels rough on wrists and sides of the hands. Skin can be pinched easily and returns to its position, indicating normal mobility and nerve. No indentations on the feet, therefore no signs of edema. Nails are clean, color and shape of nails are normal. Nail texture is hard and immobile, smooth and firm, and capri fill is less than 2 seconds. So far, your hair and nails are in great condition. You just have to keep yourself hydrated and drink lots of water at least 2 liters per day. Okay, so for your current health concern, you have impaired skin integrity related to irritants or allergens. So for this time, just avoid using the perfume for now and perform proper hygiene at all times, okay? Alright, that's it. I have the results of the assessment and I'll just head out to give it to the attending physician. So do you have any concerns, clarifications, or questions? Okay, so thank you for your cooperation, Ms. Cindy, and we will just call you for any follow-up tests or interview that you need to take, okay? Alright, so I guess that's it for now and I'll see you next time, okay?